Hey, my super beautiful, lovely souls. It's Lizzie the Lay Worker here. And welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Moon Readings. If you are joining me for the first time, I would like to welcome you wholeheartedly. I hope that you will hit that subscribe button and stick around so you can see all the interesting, inventive, healing type readings that I do. Today, I'm continuing in my Life Path number reading videos. Today is going to be for Life Path number five. If you're interested to find your Life Path number, Number, I will leave a formula in the description box of this video and you can check that out and it's very simple how to figure out your life path number um, but today is going to be for life path number five and like I have said um, everybody sort of has their own special tarot card okay along with the suit so um, if you're a five you're the hero font and you're also fives in the tarot, okay? So you'll have the energy of the fives. So um, I'm going to just take you along through this reading. And while I go through the reading, I will list sort of some traits of a five, um, you know, some of the energies of a five, uh, challenges that they might uh, face, compatibility, relationship, sort of that career, jobs, that sort of thing. And just in general, what the hero font brings, hero font brings, say it either way, like tomato, tomato, you know? <laughs> okay. So as I go through this reading, we're going to talk about, um, sort of your soul's true purpose. Okay. Then we're going to talk about maybe some things to work on, strengthen or heal. Uh, then we're going to work on heart's desire. We're going to talk about love and compatibility, and then we're going to talk about career. And then we'll sort of get, um, a message from the universe or your higher self to end on. Okay. So let's get right into it. And the first card, like I said, is going to be for your soul's purpose. What is your soul's true purpose? Um, like what to learn? What are you going to learn? Okay, so I'm feeling like with the Page of Wands, in this energy, the energy of a five, okay, is definitely creative. To me, this says creative. Sort of a student of life, okay? I feel like... Um, with the Hierophant card, it's about teaching and learning as well. I do always see a teacher here, sort of a spiritual teacher, okay? And these are his students. But with the um, Page of Wands card, to me, that's a student wanting to learn, um, sort of having a rush of creative energy, okay? Um, I think some advice would be to take some risks, live your life to the fullest, which is really a five's core energy. Um, definitely would be bored in routines. So being adaptable, liking their freedom, wanting adventure, having a sense of adventure. I feel like those are all things that your soul wants. Okay. Also, when I see this card, sometimes I also say there's some, a little bit of a rebellious type nature. Okay. Not liking authority, not wanting to be, um, bossed around. They sort of want to march to the beat of their own drum okay um i feel like they could get a bit irritated sometimes so some things to work on could be that but definitely being open to things trying new things opening up to new um ideas new creative juices okay so that would be part of a soul's desire for a five here okay and i will say that um fives are ruled by mercury okay and the hero font is sort of taurus venus energy okay so now let's talk about what to work on, what, what to work on, what to heal, what are some things you might need to do um, on, your, on this journey. Um, okay, so I'm thinking about um, definitely adopting the pragmatic, practical type of attitude that will take you through life where you'll be able to work on money, saving money, um, sort of um, getting yourself in a higher status at your job or in a career, um, definitely exploring options with money, obtaining possessions, obtaining money, um, sort of having a bit of a materialistic type vibe to you where you always sort of want to know you have money in the bank. You want to know you have that security. It just makes you feel good going Going on in in your daily life okay um, feeling like what to work on would definitely be the stability part um, maybe not taking risks okay because I feel like fives don't like to take risks okay they like to uh, take the pragmatic approach like I said um, sometimes they like instant gratification and quick results so I feel like they would definitely need to work on the patience aspect of things at times okay because this to me says patience moderation um, 
sort of uh, that progressive thinking, okay? Always sort of thinking about the next opportunity or the next um, plan, okay? They're definitely planners. They're slower when it comes to planning. They're slower when it comes to like falling in love or making decisions because they like to be rational and think things out. Okay, so I'm feeling like, yes, that could be a bit of that energy there. But like I said, some challenges for five would be materialism, okay, um, and sort of a shallowness at times, um, you know, and that's sort of just the energy that comes with that, sort of um, maybe needing a bit more self-discipline at times, and that all sort of goes hand in hand, finding that balance, you know, between independence and codependence, Um or codependency, sorry, um, you know, so, and also, like, with the, um, what do you call it, uh, overindulgences, okay, uh, a lot of fives like to indulge in things, not only with money, but they like their comforts, they like their food, they like their booze, they like just that fun, have a good time, okay, so it's just always, like, telling you, sort of, like, you know, put that in check or get balance with that, okay, so, um, let's see, we've done... Okay, what are we going to do? Heart's Desire. Let's do Heart's Desire. Okay, so I feel like Heart's Desire is definitely going to be for opportunities, not just the bored, routine-type lifestyle. That's not going to work for a five. They're very young at heart, okay? Like I said, a bit rebellious. Um, they don't like limitations or barriers of any type, so I feel like they're going to need lots of opportunities in life with relationships and with jobs. They're going to need um, just changes, okay? Like they're not going to be able to just adapt to one type of lifestyle. They're going to find it boring. They're going to um, lose their moxie, all right? That's what I'm feeling like here, okay? So like live life to the fullest, yes, have opportunities for like travel, um, you know, new, new, um, how do I want to say this? Like new adventures. Okay. No restrictions. They're not going to like restrictions. They sort of need to be in charge of themselves. All right. But I feel like they are definitely the type of person that will help you. They are flexible. They are dependable. Okay. They're that person you could go to, to borrow money. They'll, they'll allow it. They'll help you any way that they can. Okay, so let's move on to, um, we'll do love, okay? Let's do love, let's do relationships. Now, um, a five is going to be compatible with a two, a three, or a five. Those are going to work best for a five. Syncing up those energies will work best. Twos, threes, or fives. Okay, so sort of relationships for a five. Fives don't want to be trapped, Okay, they're one of the only numbers in numerology that have a problem besides a seven with commitment. They don't want to be smothered. They don't want to be overly fussed over. They don't want to answer to anybody. They don't want anybody standing in the way of their fun or their lifestyle. Sometimes they stay single or they date a lot of people. They're fulfilled with that. They don't want anybody sort of trying to nail them down to something. Um, the best relationship that would work for a five is someone that's going to allow them a sense of freedom, someone that's going to inspire them. No limitations, non-dominant, okay? Someone that's fun, someone that's comforting, adventurous, um, someone that they don't have to change for. They're not going to change. They're going to stay this way. They're not going to change for anybody. No restrictions, like I said. Someone that's going to keep it light. That means with the commitments, they're not going to bug them to settle down and, oh, I want to get married, and that's going to be the tower. They're going to want to jump right out the window over that. It'll, it'll push them so far away. Fives are sort of the kind of people that want you on the shelf. I'll come to you when I want you. And somebody is going to have to be okay with that for a relationship to work. Otherwise, it's going to stay just a dating relationship. And that might be where a five is more comfortable. Sometimes they are late bloomers and they don't find real love that syncs up with their energy till they're older. Okay. They're also going to want somebody who is spontaneous. They need to feel that sense of adventure. If they get stuck in a mundane routine, even in a relationship, they're, it's going to be the tower for them. Okay. They're going to want to jump away from it. They're going to want to run away from it. Um, and they're going to want somebody not overly emotional. They're not going to be able to handle fighting and arguing, um, confrontations, heavy, uh, confrontations or emotionally charged like things. They can't handle that. Okay. 
So that's a little advice for love. Okay, now career. Let's get into career. All right, so I'm feeling like career, they could be interested in multiple things here, okay? Um, they could want to do different jobs. They might have two jobs, three jobs, okay? I feel like work is their forte. That's where they're going to spend a lot of their time developing their skills and developing their uh, career goals. Um, they're going to want to um, have money and security, but I feel like in order not to get bored, they might change careers often, or they might, um, like I said, have two jobs or three jobs, or they might have personal projects that they work on on the side. It's rather difficult for them to choose just one direction in life. That's why they may shift their um, career paths, or they might change their mind about things or their energy about things, okay? Um, so a job that's gonna work well for a five is going to be something they can use their full potential. Travel. Travel and variety is going to be huge. They would take a travel job in a second where they could see new places, meet new people, go all over the world or state to state. That would work very well for them. Um, they're going to be good at management. They're going to be good at sort of... Um, sales, maybe I would say banking... Um, I would say public public relations or speaking, advertisement. Uh, I would also feel like they could be their own boss or be in charge of their own company. So that way there they can set their own hours and do what they want, have the creative control, okay? Because they're not going to want to give up creative, creative control. Um, but yeah, jobs that allow travel, changes, freedom, excitement, new trainings, new information, those kinds of things. They'd also be really well managing other people, okay? To me, this says that they could be managing other people with all, diff all different walks of life, types of people, okay? So just with the hero font in general, I'm going to say the hero font always sort of like does things with intellect, okay? He's a spiritual teacher. He's above these students. His knowledge base is incredible, okay? And there's lots he knows, and he shares it at the right times, he waits till he feels like someone is ready to hear this or ready to do this, all right? Um, he's all about doing the right thing for the right reasons. Um, and sort of a message from him is to not act so impulsively. Um, you know, have that can-do attitude and your strong beliefs and beliefs that can't be changed sort of and that sense of duty, that teaching and learning. But like, the impulsiveness sort of would come with, like I said, finding that balance between like dependency and codependency, independence and in and independence. Okay, that makes any sense. So let's just get one last card. We'll get an angel card. Okay, and we get divine order. So everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. Okay, so that just tells you with a five, just keep doing what you're doing. Okay, um, I feel like sometimes a five will feel like, oh, I, I need to go do this now, or I need to change direction, or I need this is sort of telling you to be a bit more balanced about your decisions and about the things that you do. Like I said about the impulses, okay, so it's sort of telling you just to try to balance that, okay. We know that your mentality can't be changed and we know that, you know, you can be very inspiring to others with this energy. So it's sort of like take your own advice, okay? All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And if you would like to see some compatibility numerology videos, I'd be glad to do those as well. This has been Lizzie the Lightworker. I will see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.